If you're thinking about starting an acting career, you might be wondering how much does it cost to get started? You want to become an actor, but you don't know how much you should be paying, who you should be paying, who's legitimate, who's a scam. So in this video, we're going to talk about the legitimate things that you should be paying for when you're starting an acting career, as well as a ballpark figure for how much each of those things should cost. Let's get started. <laughs> What's up my fellow actors, welcome to the Acting Career Center, here to help you learn the skills you need to break into the film and television industry. My name is Kurt Yu, thank you so much for spending some time here with me today. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos on acting, auditioning, and career advice every single week. Today we're talking about what the costs are to start an acting career. How much does it cost to become an actor? Now, we're limiting today's conversation to just the startup costs, so to speak. How much it costs in the first couple years as an actor? Because there are some other costs that veteran actors will incur, but we're only talking today about what the startup costs are in the first couple years. Now, one more thing that I want to mention is that some of, the, some of these costs may seem high to you, um, but you got to remember that every single dime that you put into your acting career is an investment in yourself. If you truly believe that you have what it takes to become an actor, then you believe that any money that you're putting towards your career will be paid off down the road. So let's start talking about what these things are that you have to pay for to start your career. The first item is training. Every single actor needs to take acting classes when they are starting out. Now, if you're still in high school or younger, then I highly encourage you to start taking classes that are offered in your school whether they're drama club classes or uh, school plays or anything where you can get involved in acting in school because those don't cost anything extra for you. I guarantee you once you graduate high school, there are not going to be any more free acting classes available. So if you are still in school, definitely take advantage of the drama classes that are available there. If you've already graduated high school, then a lot of people ask whether or not they should get a degree, if they should go to college and major in acting. This is one option, but it is certainly not the only option. You can definitely go and get a bachelor's and a master's degree in acting from a college or a university, and that will cost anywhere between $20,000 to over $100,000, depending on what school you go to. If you have aspirations of uh, becoming a musical theater actor, if you want to become an actor on Broadway, then a theater degree can be very beneficial. It may even be required. I'm not 100% sure on that because I'm not a theater actor. But I can tell you that in the film and television world, a theater degree can be helpful, but it certainly is not required. Nobody in this industry cares if you have a degree. They only care if you are a good actor. Whether or not you got that from college or if you got that from learning in a private studio, nobody cares. They only care that you can act. So that leads me to acting studios. Instead of getting a degree in acting, you can just take classes at a private acting studio. This is how I've been taking acting classes my entire 12 year acting career. So an acting studio, you can expect to pay classes, pay for classes month to month. They will range between probably $100 to $300 per month, depending on where the acting studio is. In smaller markets, it can be on the cheaper side in bigger markets and can cost a little bit more. In Hollywood, there are some well-known acting teachers that charge $500, $600 or more per month, but most acting classes are not quite that much. All of my acting classes that I've taken have always been roughly one to $300 per month. Now, if that isn't within your budget, if you can't afford to pay that much, there are ways where you can actually get classes for cheaper than that. And that is that you can offer to work at the acting studio in exchange for discounted classes. You can offer to be the teacher's assistant or to be an administrative assistant and get cheaper classes that way. I know plenty of actors that have done that and gotten discounted classes or even free classes sometimes. And the last thing I'll say about acting classes is beware of anybody who says that they can make you famous. Nobody can teach you how to become famous. That is not something that anyone can promise you. If they do, they are for sure a scam. So run the other way. 
Uh, how can you tell if an acting class is legitimate? Well, a lot of classes will allow you to audit a class for free. So I encourage you to sit in on a class and check out and see if the acting teacher and the students there are some people that you'd like to work with. The next thing that every actor will need to spend money on is headshots. Headshots are the actor's business card. It is the sign in front of their store. It is the biggest marketing tool that every actor will have for their career. So it is important that you do invest in this. You shouldn't try to find the cheapest headshot photographer. You should really try to find the best headshot photographer and then see if that works within your budget. So it's important to go to a professional here and not just try to take a good picture with your iPhone or find your uncle with a fancy camera to try to take pictures for you. Uh, it's, it's really important to try to get a professional headshot. A professional headshot can cost somewhere between 200 to 600 dollars uh, depending on what market you're in a smaller market might cost a little bit less a bigger market might cost a little bit more i do know actors that have spent over a thousand dollars for headshots and that just goes to show you that it, they are taking their career seriously they're willing to invest in it because a headshot is so important for an actor because look you have to be able to stand out when you're submitted among thousands of other actors when your headshot goes to a casting director. And if your headshot does not look professional, that speaks to how seriously you are taking your career. Now I know that two to $600 might be a lot to pay for some people, and there are ways that you could potentially save money, and that is to maybe go to a photography student, someone who does know what they are doing photography-wise, but may not be a uh, professional yet. You could go to a photography student, they may charge you a lot less than a pro. The risk that you're taking there is that their headshots may not turn out that well and you've just wasted that money and then you have to go to a professional anyway. But if you're willing to take that risk, that might be a way that you can kind of save a little bit of money with headshots. The next thing that you'll have to pay for as an actor starting out is casting websites. Here in North America, the most commonly used casting websites are Actors Access, Casting Networks, and Backstage. If you live outside of North America, then there are probably other casting websites that are used, so you'll have to reach, research those on your own. But as far as these three go, Actors Access, you can actually get an account for free but you will have to pay every single time that you submit for an audition. You can also pay for a $68 annual fee for Actors Access, which will waive all of the individual fees every time that you submit for an audition. Uh, casting networks cost $25 a year, but they waive that fee if you sign up through an agent. So if you have an agent, you don't have to pay for casting networks. And then Backstage, I believe, costs $150 a year. I don't have Backstage because it is not really used so much here in the Atlanta area. But if you live in the Los Angeles or New York markets, it is probably uh, much more common for actors to have a Backstage account. Now, one more website that is very commonly used for actors, not for casting purposes, Purposes, but for kind of marketing purposes and exposure purposes is IMDB. An IMDB Pro account costs $150 a year, but when you are first starting out, I don't recommend signing up for it because you don't need that right away. I think once you have a couple credits that will go on IMDB with your profile, then you can sign up for an IMDB Pro account and then you can put your picture up there and link people to it and everything like that. Speaking of websites, I do wanna mention my own website, actingcareercenter.com. Now this is not a casting website, so don't expect to see auditions there, but I do have some free resources available to you, including my free audition cheat sheet, which is my 10 step audition preparation process that I use for my own auditions. Now, if you wanna download my free audition cheat sheet, you can go to it by clicking that link right up there or by going to the link in the description below. The next thing that every actor can expect to spend some money on is self-taping equipment. The world of auditions has moved heavily towards self-taping in recent years, so investing in self-taping equipment is absolutely essential for modern day actors. Now, the great thing is that we all have HD cameras in our phones these days, so you definitely don't have to go out and buy a fancy camera for taping auditions at home. You can invest as little as $100 with just a tripod and a couple lights while recording your auditions with your phone, and that can be a really good self-taping setup for home. The other option would be to go to a taping service every time you get an audition. Now, audition taping services are probably not in every single city, especially in the small markets, but in the major markets like Los Angeles, 
uh, Chicago, New York, Atlanta, and some of the mid markets will probably all have some taping services that will record your audition for you, edit it, and send it off for a fee, usually between $20 and $60 per audition. Now that's going to be up to you whether or not you want to pay the fee every single time that you have an audition or to invest in the self-taping setup at home for yourself. Now another option to kind of save some money for your self-tapes is to find a friend who has a self-taping setup and offer to be their reader every time they have an audition in exchange for having them tape your audition every single time that you have one and just do kind of an audition exchange. I've done that for many of my friends and I know plenty of other actors that have done that as well to kind of save a little bit of money for their self-taping. Now, if you want to learn more about self-taping, I actually have another resource on my website, which is a page dedicated specifically to all the tools that I recommend for taping your auditions at home. I'll put a link to that resource list down in the description below. The next thing you can expect to pay for is demo reel editing. Now, when you first start out as an actor, you don't have a demo reel and you don't have anything to make a demo reel with, but as you've done a little bit of work, Let's say you did a short film or a student film or a web series and you have a couple scenes of footage, then you will need to be able to create a demo reel from that and unless you are already a proficient video editor, then you'll probably have to pay someone to create your demo reel for you. Now this can cost anywhere between I'd say $50 to $200. I wouldn't expect to pay more than $200, especially when you're first starting out. When you are much later in your career and you have many, many scenes that you're trying to create and uh, fit into a demo reel, then you may end up paying more. But when you're first starting out, I'd expect to pay probably not much more than $100 to create a demo reel. Once you get to the point in your career where you're getting representation, whether that's an agent or a manager or both, then you can expect some of your money to go to them. Now, agents and managers do cost money, but they don't cost money up front. That's one thing that you should really keep in mind because Anybody that asks for money from you up front for representation is a complete scam, so avoid them at all costs. Agents and managers make their money off of commission, so they charge a commission off any money that you make as an actor. Here in the United States, agents make a 10% commission off of all union jobs, sag after jobs, and anywhere between 15 and 20% on non-union jobs. Managers also make anywhere between a 10% and 20% commission off of all of your jobs. So that means if you have both an agent and a manager, you're paying anywhere between 20% and up to 40% of your paycheck to them just off of commission. So just be aware of that and be ready for that once you do get representation. Now, another thing that you won't have to worry about right from the beginning, but it should be something that you should think about in the future is uh, the cost of joining the union. So here in North America, the Film and Television Actors Union is SAG-AFTRA, and the cost for joining the union, at least in 2020, is $3,000. Now, whether or not you should join the union and when you should join the union is a topic for another day. That's a whole nother conversation, but just know that if you decide to join the union, you should expect to pay up to $3,000. Now, the reason why I say up to $3,000 is that depending on what market you're in, you may pay less than that. So if you are in the major markets like New York or Los Angeles, it does cost $3,000, the initiation fee to join the union. But in smaller markets like Atlanta, Atlanta's initiation fee to join SAG-AFTRA is only about half of that. So when I joined the union here in Atlanta, I didn't pay the full $3,000, I paid about half. But if I were to book a job in New York or Los Angeles, I would have to pay the difference. So it's not like I'm getting a really good deal here or anything. This next one is kind of an indirect cost for an acting career, and that is relocation costs when you move to a new market. Most actors don't start out living in one of the major film and television production markets like New York or LA or Atlanta. Most actors start out living in some smaller market and then at some point in their careers they decide they want to move to one of the bigger markets. This is what I did in 2016. I moved from Cleveland, Ohio to Atlanta, Georgia. Now relocating costs money, the moving costs themselves and the money that you should have saved up to move to a new city. I highly, highly encourage anyone who is thinking about moving to a new city to pursue acting to have plenty of money saved up when they move. Now, if you're trying to move to New York or LA, one of the major markets, understand that these cities have really high costs of living. So you should really have, I think, 
at least $10,000 saved up in the bank account if you want to move to one of these major markets. If you want to move to a market like Atlanta, which doesn't quite doesn't cost quite as much as New York or LA, then you could probably get by with saving five to $6,000 before you move to this city. But no matter where you move, understand that it will cost money and you should have that money saved up when you go because you don't want to be one of those actors who gets to the new city, blows through all their savings in a month or two, and then has to move back home and now you've wasted all that money and all that time. You want to make sure that when you go, you're in it for the long haul. So those were all of the costs that I can think of for new actors who are trying to start an acting career. There are some other costs that you will probably have to think about when you are further along in your career, like uh, the cost of incorporating if you want to do that, uh, if you want to get an entertainment lawyer or a publicist. All of those things cost money as well, but you probably don't have to think about things, those things for quite a while and you can just focus on what we've talked about today. Now there's one more cost that I do want to mention and this is an important one. I think that the real cost of trying to start an acting career is not monetary. The real cost comes in the form of the sacrifices that need to be made in order to pursue this career. The time that it takes the stability that you're sacrificing, financial stability and life stability, the lack of vacations that you can take, the uh, social life that you'll have to sacrifice, um, the opportunity cost of potentially pursuing a different career. All of these things are sacrifices that you're going to have to make in terms of your acting. The time is a big thing because when you're trying to pursue an acting career, you're putting a full-time effort into this career, but oftentimes most actors, the vast majority of actors, are also working a side job, sometimes multiple side jobs, in order to support their acting career. So we are spending much more than just like a traditional 40-hour work week on our careers. You, you'll see a lot of your friends that may have gone the traditional career route and they work a 40 hour work week and they get a steady paycheck and they get paid time off and they're able to go on vacations, you're gonna have to accept that you may not be able to do those things when you pursue an acting career. And those are the sacrifices that we have to make as actors. You gotta be committed to this. You gotta really love the craft of acting and not just be in love with the idea of becoming rich and famous. Because if that's what you love, then the sacrifices are not gonna be worth it to you. If those sacrifices are worth it to you, if you're willing to do all those things, if you're willing to do all of that for your career because this is what you really want and you can't see yourself doing anything else, then let me tell you this, I think there are so many other aspects of this career that are extremely rewarding and in my opinion, far outweigh those monetary costs and those sacrifices that have to be made. All right, that's it for today. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I can't wait to see you on set one day.